Hey everyone, this video is going to show you how to hide sheet or view them again. I have my sheets example here. Down at the bottom I have a bunch of different tabs or in other words different sheets attached to this main one. Sometimes I get too many, like if I was using this from my Google form and populating all my students assignments here and each tab at the bottom was a new response sheet, what I would do is once I'm done grading the assignment I would hide it so that I don't have to keep scrolling through that sheet anymore but I'm also not deleting deleting it either. So let me show you how I would do that. So I'm going to use this assignment too as an example. So I'm going to select it. And then if you come to this drop down arrow right next to the title of the sheet, it gives you the option to hide sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and hide it. And now you see it's gone, but I maybe graded it, put a grade in wrong or something like that. So maybe I want to go look at it again or view it again. What I can do is I can come up to view and it tells me hidden sheets and I have one hidden sheet because you saw the one I just did. And then it shows me which one is hidden. So if I need to look at it again, I just click on it and it populates right back down here into my tabs and I can view what I want to do. If I'm done with it again, I can just come down to that drop down arrow and hide the sheet again. Just to show you what it looks like if you have more than one hidden, I can go ahead and hide that sheet, come up to view and it shows me I have two hidden sheets and shows me both of them there and I can select either of them if I want to view them again. Just as a secondary example of how you could use sheets for this is maybe I do a weekly schedule and instead of scrolling through all the weeks or months here, I can go ahead when I'm done with the week, select hide sheet. I'm done with that week as well, hide sheet, and this is my current week here. If I ever wanna see those weeks again, I can come up to hidden sheets and refer back to those weeks. Hope this is just a nice little Google Sheets tip for you and it helps you declutter your Google Sheets tabs at the bottom.